Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play EU4! We are playing as Lubeck, this is the Mario Nostrum expansion, and we are waiting, mostly, for some uh, coalitions to go away. Our manpower is basically capped. Um, I really want to make a jump on Poland and beat them up, because it will be fun! They are our rival, we can humiliate them, get a bunch of power projection, that's part of the plan. Currently, we do have a CB against them for um, the, I believe, the trade. Which is probably fine. We don't necessarily need to take land. Um, I'll have to compare, but it might be worth sending a spy over there and fabricating a claim, and then we can decide exactly how we want to go and um, trigger them. Uh, let's go and fabricate something on Sweden, and then just go and bring that home. So, right now, I think the thing keeping the coalition together is just Sweden. I mean, no one else is big enough. I mean, the Tonic Order, maybe, but probably not. Uh, how are we doing force limit wise? We're capped there. Well, we've got extra room for ships, and we've got lots of money, so it's probably worth going and building one, two, three. Come on. Lag, 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 while it auto-saves. How many did we end up queuing up? Okay, did take three. There we go. Brings us up to 55. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to unmothball this fleet, and I'm going to have them combine with my Baltic Sea Trade node. It's probably a good idea. They are claiming things. Fair enough. And I think what I'm going to do is pump up the army maintenance and get ready to go over here. Friesland left the trade league. They're too large. Fair enough. Munster left the coalition. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Uh, what are Poland's forts looking like? Okay, so we got to take that. All right. That should be okay. And I was just looking at their force. What was it again? 27,000. So, decent amount standing. But not too bad. We could call in Saxony. Whoa! Austria just declared war on Poland. So, we will want to as well. Before I do that, I'm just going to get an actual claim here. Um, what's got the highest value? Okay. This one at 10. It's not much. It's also the place of the fort. So, we're going to fabricate a claim there. And then what we're going to do is figure out our war declaration. Um, apparently we didn't actually get our CB yet. There it is. So, if we go for blockading ports... Yeah, there's like, there's really no bonus to it. We may as well, even if we're not planning on taking territory, we may as well claim with conquest. So, what I'll probably do... Is I'm actually going to wait a second. I'm going to queue up a bunch of mercs over here. So we have a critical mass army. Now we'll have 34,000, which will outpace them. Uh, this is another military idea, which I'm not taking, because I'd rather have military tech level uh, 11, which we are focused and working on over there. I mean, it's not a critical level. It does actually give us actual cavalry fire, which helps. And about 20% more infantry shock, which ain't bad, but it's not like literally the most critical level there is in terms of warfare. Actually, we're going to keep our spies in Poland, because if we do that... Oh, we're actually getting some attrition over here. Um, and we've got the siege leader. Good. If we do that, then we uh, will eradicate some of their fort defense. So I'm going to bring Saxony in on this. And we're going to take Conquest. And go. And move in here. Now, what's interesting... Yeah, we're at war with Riga. Riga, I actually might want to take. I don't think I care about taking any property or territory from, um, from Poland. How much do I need to siege here? We only need six people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all the cav and keep the cannons here. Uh, let's move all the infantry over and then some of the merc infantry. There we go. And then take you guys and pull back uh, to there to reduce attrition in enemy territory. If they want to come at me, they can. So I'm over my force limit. Despite that, we're not actually that broke, which is pretty impressive. We're still making money, actually. We haven't finished building all the things because we had some ships in the queue. But there we go. So at some point, Riga's going to make a move. Oh, speaking of, I think we're going to park there. And, oh, we have a mix of caravels and barks. I'm also, these guys are repairing. I'm going to have them uh, join in the Gulf of Riga. There we go. For just a little bit of extra muscle over there. Oh, 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 there we go. Battle will be joined soon. I don't think I'm going to hesitate. I think I'm just going to start moving now. That's only grassland. Oh, and we can't go there directly, which is not great. Let's roll another general over here. Could be better. But it's not bad. I don't think I'm going to spend any more points. 
They do have a lot of that. Oh, um, war fervor. 10% more uh, morale is going to be great. Oh, they changed their mind. All right, I'm going to let you finish moving in here. Because we'll have the supply once we take the territory, so it's not going to be too bad. Reset the siege a bit. That's all right. And Saxony might be a bit at risk over there, but it's not too bad. And someone's looking like they might want to move in. Interesting. Brilliant government. More money. Oh, we're going to take prestige. We have a lot of money. Oh, and you did attack me in here. I missed that somewhere along the way. It was going too fast. Let's just run it at speed, too. Oldenburg left the coalition. Excellent. I suspect everyone will as well. So, we have a lot... No, we have the same morale. Four and four. All the same combat stats. And we're about to lose that. But no, our reinforcements arrived in time. And as long as we survive long enough for Saxony to get there, we should be able to win that. It was a bit of a sloppy original engagement, though. That's because I was a little bit distracted. And I'm trying to play a bit too fast. But now we've got our critical numbers in here. And we should be able to win this. Oh, we actually have a discipline bonus as well. Um, actually, what's our military advisor? Yeah, 5% discipline. So yeah, a bit of an edge. All right. Because they're on tech 10, I'm on tech 10. Once we do get to 11, that will help a fair bit. Again, not the hugest level, but pretty good. I don't think these are even people on my side here. I think those are people from the other war that joined in. Um, wow, we took a lot of damage. I guess our front line really crumbled there. I'm going to take the infantry and consolidate them. The rest I will let them just... Um, recharge and that's my siege bonus yeah we're gonna go and take this territory again actually what i'm thinking about is i oh i can't go to riga okay presumably at some point they'll get access through something what is this lithuania bits wow uh that's a military idea no i can live without this for a little bit lot longer we'll just work our way up to the tech you stand there uh friendlies can attach i'll take that off probably although i appreciate the defensive nature of you being there How's our force limit? We're still above the force limit as is, and still building an extra dude as well. And that's despite consolidating all our infantry. In fact, I'm wondering if I should consolidate any more than that. Nah, that's okay. Wow, these cannons got really beat up. I'm actually going to go and queue up an extra couple of cannons. Because it will help with the siege, and apparently, like... Wow, that, that battle really started quite poorly. Traders look abroad, bonus trade efficiency. And bonus trade abroad. Awesome. Good. Love that. Oh, Saxony's actually got this siege going. So, since they're not attached to me, I could pull back to, say, over here. And that's fine. Um, and really, I don't have enough cannons to give them a bonus yet. So, I may as well just move back until the cannons are re, um, reinforced. And they'll reinforce faster in friendly territory. Cool. Yeah. No reason for me to get that kind of attrition. No problemo. Poland's against a lot of people, and that's fine. So I actually would very much like to claim Riga. It's very high um, developed, and it's got the estuary. It's not an important center of trade, that's interesting, but it is an estuary, and it would be really nice to pick up. And it's far enough away, it might not cause too much attrition pro or, um, aggressive expansion problems down here. And it gives me another foothold in the Baltic, which is always going to be you know, helpful. That siege is going well. I guess I might have wanted to grab these uh, sieges for myself. I guess I'll grab another fortress over here. I think it's probably safe to move out. It's only farmland. If they decide to attack me, bad things will happen here. Yeah, I can't really manipulate these sieges. That's the one downside. Still, I think it's okay to do that. As I say that, wow. Well, there's stuff have to recharge for it to come up. I'm going to throw the cannon there to speed that up. And yeah, that cannon can go there as well. I'm going to... Oh, I can't pull back to there. Tell you what, for safety's sake, I'm just going to run away. <laughs> Cannons, I think, are helping over here, which makes me feel happy and helpful. Oh, I could sit and pluck. This is woods, and there's a river crossing from an angle. Oh, Riga. Hello. Are you at war against the Tonic Order? You are. Interesting. Well, that's quite good. Um, I'm going to go and beat up your army so you can't join up with Poland. Hope you don't mind. And then I'm going to go and siege out Riga itself. Oh, someone beat me to it. <laughs> uh, do I want to keep this leader? No, I'm going to re-elect. Because uh, he's one of my generals, but he's not super strong, right? He's got the siege pip. But no, that's fine. I'm going to re-elect one more time. Because we don't have that much military tradition. 
and or sorry uh that republican tradition so apparently we did join in over there and did still learn some war score i'm gonna roll this guy again okay so i'm gonna take the guy with the siege pip to go and siege riga and that's going to be fine and dandy and we probably will be able to stack wipe the riganese army i have regatten army no idea boom battle of riga done this siege will complete soon as well I'll merge these up and just tell them to attach this army and they can go and siege some more stuff. That's fine. No attaching the friendlies over here. Good. Hopefully these guys will just survive. They might get jumped on by the Polish army. How is the Polish army doing? No more manpower left. They still have a fairly decent standing army, which could take the, um, the, the Saxon army, but overall we're going to be doing okay. All right, so my goal here, I'm going to try to separate piece out Riga for Riga itself. Um, and since that will result in them being exterminated, uh, we will have to either wait a long time to get there or actually siege out 100% of the territory. So it might be a little bit tricky to get them to accept that. And then after that, it's going to be the question of humiliating, war reparating, and taking the money from Poland. Although if we do end up with 100% war score, then we could do war reparations plus trade, which wouldn't be bad. Um... I don't care about the stability cost modifier, I'm at plus one. So I'm going to take the option that gives me more monthly fervor and doesn't cost me any fervor. I could potentially stop investing in the war right now and just save up some fervor and or consider trade things. Because I'm not going to be fighting for a little bit. Actually, I think I'm going to be okay with doing that. I'm just going to let the fervor um, add up. Hopefully Poland's not coming to Riga to dislodge me over here, but I'm in woods. They probably, they potentially have a river crossing depending on uh, maneuver. I only have a maneuver of one, so they might be able to avoid it, but we're in the woods. We've got decent numbers. We've got the 5% edge on discipline, which isn't much, but is something. Oh, they're just going and try to desiege that, which is fine. You might win the race, but it could be that Saxony wins the race because we might have more cannons going on. Ah, uh, it's pretty similar. And actually this is a higher fort level. Um, but if that happens, Saxony might go and kick their butt. Oh, looks like the Teutonic Order is going to do it for me. Poor Poland. Everyone is kicking your ass. How are we doing in tech in terms of ahead of timeness, behind timeness? We have a lot of admin power. Like, we're really ahead in admin. And we're generating a decent amount, despite the fact that we're focused over here. Uh, but that's okay. We're actually going to have to core this. And I think that's, that's fine. We could consider leaving it as a territory, as opposed to a state. But it is a really high-value province, and that autonomy would kind of sort of suck. Actually, what's going to kind of sort of suck is trying to prevent these guys from um, having uprisings. We're going to have to work that pretty hard. Oh, military tech. Matchlock muskets, thank you. Oh, we just won the siege as well. Uh, and we're gonna I'm sure we're going to have to sink them. Yeah, because they're not going to want to surrender. It's only 74% war score, but because it would result in their annexation or vacillation, vassalization, plus there's the ongoing war. Actually, as soon as the ongoing battle is done, that might be that. Oh, and now I'm trapped because I don't have access to it through anything? How can I move here, but not here? Oh, no, I can't move through the Teutonic Order. And they're not going to give me access. That's awkward. What about you guys? You guys, Will. Lovely. Nice to see you, Galicia Volinia thingy. Um, so, they'll, yeah, they'll see us. So what I'm going to do from then is move towards Krakow over here. Or Krakow. And I guess I don't need my ships here anymore. Uh, I'm going to keep the galleys with this and protect trade. That way, if we get in that war against um, Sweden, they'll have a few galleys to protect them. I may even be tempted to throw in a few more galleys in preparation for that. Riga wants to peace out, I suspect. Well, the ongoing battle is over. Would you take the... Yes, you would. And all your money? Yes, you would. Aggressive expansion. But not Sweden. Sweden would not jump back in. And it's possible that the rest wouldn't either. F it. Let's do it. I mean, honestly, they were not They were in my little trade thingy. Maybe this was completely unnecessary, but we'll see how it goes. Plague. Um, let's spend some money. 
I have black flagged? Really? Oh, I must have been in Livonian Order territory when it happened, and the only reason I had access was because with their war. The fact that people are rejoining the coalition makes me a little unhappy. But isn't the worst. It's only one so far. Let's see how it goes. Um, so now we need a little bit more war score here. So I guess I'll go and siege some stuff up here, because it's close to where I am. I don't think I've got to worry about smacking around these little stacks. And that's being sieged out, so that's fine. Maybe what I'll do... Nah, I'll just keep all my people here. It's a little attrition-y, but how bad could that be? I might... They have such low... Uh, well, they're actually at medium. No, not the back at low. I think they were at medium because of the, the ongoing battle that was going on for a second there. Would you take a Humiliate right now? Oh, high fervor. Yeah, I'll spend it in a second. Would you take a Humiliate? No, you won't. Uh, just going with trade. That's going to be okay. What we're going to do is we are going to make a state out of Riga, and then we are going to um, increase autonomy. Oh, I can't go there directly, so I won't. And a micro stack of cavalry just there, just to say. Uh, Hamburg, sure, you can have military access. I have no idea what you're looking to do, but that's okay with me. And you are protecting trade. Yeah, you guys, hopefully, I was going to say, hopefully you'll combine. How's my naval force limit? Oh, I can get a little bit more. Only like, really? It's kind of interesting that I can't just queue up. Fine then, just build a light ship for convenience then. I mean, you can add non-light ships to a fleet that is patrolling for trade. Like, you can have other types of ships in there, but apparently you can't queue them up to be built, which seems a little bit curious. But oh well, whatever. Alright, go up to speed three. That's going to be sieged. And yeah, we'll just humiliate Poland and take their money. And, I mean, we're already above 50, but we're going to make sure to lock that in there. Especially since we can't... Um, declaring war on Denmark is not declaring war on a rival anymore. And I mean, we may not be able to declare war in Denmark directly. Like, how are we going to reach them? We have no transports. <laughs> uh, so we might still have to go to war against Sweden first. In which case, we'll deal with that when we uh, when we get there. And we only want to take one piece of territory over here from Sweden. Again, prevent too much coalition stuff, especially since they're not ultimately our goal. What I'm looking forward to, in fact, is... <gasps> Norwegian War of Independence. Oh, no. As I say, declaring war on Denmark, so in peace process, I can steal some of Norway's islands. Now I don't know how we can get a claim on this stuff anymore. Because Denmark won't have... No, because they're like, oh, I can vassalize Denmark, or do something like that, or... No, not really. Because I could do a no-CB war, but those are often, like... That's dangerous. Some people say no-CB is best CB. But that is also very dangerous. If you're worried about aggressive expansion, man oh man, is that a way to get it. Alright, Poland's got nothing. Da, 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 da. On the siege there. And yeah, I don't think I feel the need to take any other territory. I'm not even sure if taking Riga was smart. It was just cool. So I did it. Actually, here's a question. Are there any, like, Riggan claims over here? Livonia. What is this? Polotsk. Estonia. Yeah, so not really. Because it might have been it might have been a possibility to like, you know, release them. Um, how's that going now? Can we humiliate? I mean they won't transfer trade power because that's too much. Plus war reps, plus all your current money. Oop. I don't know how much your war reps will be worth going forward. But it's probably something. Humiliate them and war reparation. And that's going to be good enough. Because we're already flirting with more... Um, more coalition. And this is not a particularly helpful way to generate a coalition. It's not part of our goal. We've got a limited amount of territory to grab. Whoa, 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 whoa. You triggered a coalition war. You've got Scotland as an ally. Now that's very interesting, because Scotland, if we could somehow grab some territory from them, that would be a fine jumping off point too. Oh, 
Hmm. All right, well, first of all, we're going to stop trading. We need to make sure to have a proper blockade going on here. At least some ship. One ship here, so they can't just cross with impunity. Y'all can def Actually, you know what? They want to cross a little bit, and we can pin them on an island. That wouldn't be... Well, no, we'll leave one ship here behind. Um, okay. Ground troops. You guys assemble over here, away from Berg uh, Brandenburg, whose butt we should be able to kick relatively easily. Uh, the tricky part here is actually going to be the fact that trying to build these mercs here, some of them are going to spawn where Brandenburg is going to be walking through. So I guess just they're sort of all going to spawn in an annoying manner. Let me... Th let me th Oops. Shit. Ugh, I'm still on the template, so when I clicked... Can I right-click? No. It'd be, like, those were ships. I might have wanted to finish them, actually. See, I'm just trying to play too fast. That's biting me in the ass. What I want to do is get some merc infantry back here where it's safe. And more. There we go. We can go over a force limit. That's perfectly fine. Whoa, slow it down. Speed two. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Even more ships. Uh, so leave, like, one here. And the rest of us go join in over there. And actually, roll an admiral. We don't need to be parked for that anymore. You're pretty good. Excellent. Go and join in there. I don't know what Sweden's going to do. Yes, that is going to be a blockaded, or um, siege, which is certainly expected. All right, won that naval battle. Excellent. You guys group up. Go and see if we can catch these guys. Where are they going? The Gulf of Finland, which is back over there. Plus, there are some more ships we can grab. We want to hit someone somewhere. This is Muscovy helping out. Oh, that's right! We've got Muscovy on our side! Yeah, you're, you're not in any crazy wars? No, you're not. Do you actually have an army? Yes, you do. All right, this is very good. Certainly a little risky leaving that one ship behind. What are you actually blockading? Oh, this territory over here. Right. And then we got, oh, you can go there. Uh, question, where's Brandenburg? Right over here. Y'all. We gotta go and crush one army at a time, and if we can crush Brandenburg first, I'll be happy. Yeah, you go ahead and siege that. That's fine. It might stop our coring, but that's okay. Uh, you're... We're gonna join in to sink that navy since they're engaged and can't leave. Uh, Brandenburg might be trying to catch something, but I don't think they can. You run up this way. Hadn't cancelled all those, apparently. You get over here, merge up, decent composition, yep. Um, like, oh, we didn't actually get caught there. Interesting. And you're white flagged. And I don't know if we can hold off long enough for in reinforcements. Now, we don't have the ability to force march yet, right? When do we get that these days? 15, okay. Uh, we won that, excellent. Currently, everything else is docked. So, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our injured ships. They could do it on automatic, but we'll just manually tell them to go to Danzig. And... I'm going to focus my fleet over here. Maybe off the coast of Stockholm. That might not be a bad idea. Oh, yeah, see? I knew we'd probably get attacked there at some point. I'm not sure that we can reach and help that out. I think this ship's just going to get sunk. But we'll see what we can do. Meanwhile, um, Norway is just still trying to develop independence. Oh, you know what would be great? If Norway took this province. And they could do that. They absolutely could do that. We might be able to get this to last long enough. I don't suppose we've got another stray leader around. Yeah, there we go. We'll throw some extra leader stats in there just in case it makes a difference. Uh, that's the Tunic Order, which might catch something. Battle of the Orsons was lost. Okay. Not really a surprise. That battle was lost, which is certainly more unfortunate, but we're about to join in with a 20k stack. It's going to be attacking into the woods. How's Brandenburg's stats? They're on military tech 10. We are on 11. There's definitely an edge. Now, they've got a great leader at a 4-2. I think what I'm going to do is stop, because they're actually looking to engage in Stata. So I'm going to wait until they are a little further along, and certainly, ideally, even locked. You, stop. Okay, they're locked. So now... Okay, we're not going to start a fight there, but we will be able to reinforce over here. 
where they're already attacking. I mean, it's only Grasslands, so there's not they're not going to have a, a penalty to their combat stats, but they weren't having a huge advantage to attack, and we're actually going to go and raffle stomp them. Now, we can't separate piece them out. The only people we can separate piece is Scotland. And since we don't have any actual transport ships, unless one of our allies ends up going to Scotland and taking some territory and passing it to us, we're not going to be stealing any of their territory, which is a damn shame. You're still coming? Yeah, and that, those are my damaged ones. Move out over this way. We'll keep those guys mostly pinned in. And you guys just dock there because you are damaged. So we've jumped in. Brandenburg should get squooshed. Saxony is starting to siege them. Great. So we're not going to be able to separate piece out Brandenburg, but what we can do is we can prevent them from being able to spawn any more troops, which is quite good. Same thing over here with Stata, where someone is already working on that. So I'll make the move into Berlin. I'm going to put a stack over here as well. So yeah, who is this? That's Brunswick who's taking care of that. Lovely. Good. It's nice to have some allies. Uh, Livonian, or this is Muscovy, crushing the Livonian order. Clearing that up. Very helpful as well. It'd be nice to go after these ships a bit, but I'm going to wait until our other fleet is repaired before we make any moves of that nature. <laughs> um, I don't know why you're lifting that siege. That seemed a little bit odd. I'll leave a dude behind. And here, I'll just detach. And it looks like we're not going to be able to catch them. So that's okay. I'm just going to grab a 4k stack of cavalry and go over there. It's not useful for any real fight, but it'll prevent anything from spawning there. And that's okay. Alright, so Saxony may hold the sieges on these, and that's okay. Not, well, I mean, I could grab a bunch of territory. Obviously, it's going to lead to more aggressive expansion. I probably will grab some territory in this. Just don't know what. Alright, that's a decent fleet. And that's also a little bit scary, though. Uh, we have a lot of money. I bet you we can do upgrades. That is worth it. Same thing here. Hold on. Oh, you're paused. Group up. Upgrade. There we go. And grab the healthy ones out here. Lovely. Good. Well worth the money. You're sieging that. There we go. We're doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You're going to want to park yourself there. Because we can always... Uh, I don't know if we'll make the jump across. But they'll probably move at some point. Oh, um, what I should do is get in this position. Actually, I'm going to grab an um, actual siege stack and head out over there at this point. And we'll see if we can siege this fort. So quite curious to see what uh, Norway decides to do. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we'll wait for these ships to get fully fixed up. And then we'll do some more fleet hunting. It'll be nice to sink everyone else's fleet. Meanwhile, Muscovy getting some work done. Good, you guys have done that. I'll just go and re regroup over here. Ship repairs seem to take a long time. I suppose I don't really have, like, ship repair buildings. I have ship construction buildings, right? Because I think they removed the ship repair from this. Yeah, they did. Which is too bad. It was nice to have, like, one or two strategic ship repair locations. I really like when I play England. You know, I'll put it in, like, Cornwall over here or something. Riga's technically under attack, but that's not really going to last because... Russia's around, or Muscovy. They're not Russia yet. Finished coring that. Uh, yeah, we'll do a conversion run as well. Uh, actually, hold on. Cancel. Do I want to territorialize it? I'll get some stats over here. Cost us that maintenance and that autonomy. No, I guess I won't care. Maybe I'll leave it just as a... Um, I'll just leave it as a, an overseas territory. They're going to get 75% autonomy, so I'm not going to get that much trade from it. But it won't use up one of my my numbers. And it still gives me a great port and some amount of trade power to here as well. So that's okay. War exhaustion is high. We're going to buy that down. Actually, I'm going to buy it down some more. Because this war is not going to be short, my friends. At all. War exhaustion. We're getting a fair amount of attrition, that's for sure. We don't have that much manpower either. I think I'm going to do some more consolidates here. Might end up consolidating the wrong things, but I don't think so. And actually, I don't think it shrunk our numbers at all. We only have the two armies, right? Yes, we do. Good. 
You guys are still pretty broken. Not completely broken, though. What about with some galleys? I'm worried about thinning up my um, my forces too much. Because they do have a decent amount of ships. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go after these yet. And I don't think I'm going to break this either. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go and sink the Scottish Navy. That's what I'm going to do. Have to be a little careful about this fleet. Maybe taking care, taking out over there. And that would certainly enable um, Sweden to move in a little further in my territory. Which wouldn't be great. Now you guys use this the uh, Conquest CB. Which the AI is set up to do now. In a coalition, they will use the Conquest CB as much as possible, and so it's show superiority for that. So it would be nice to win more battles. Okay, we lost that siege. It means technically they could blockade me here if they moved some ships, but they didn't do that. And yeah, they are going to move away as expected. Too bad it's not farmland, because it would be nice to resiege it that way. Papal States declared on Venice. Alrighty. Oh, they did move in over here. Winter Siege. Um, no, we can take longer. And actually, I really don't need to be here. I'm going to detach some people and move them over here. I guess we need a fair number. Wow, this is a big fort. So it's not my siege, and that's but that's okay. All right, finished off that little skirmish. Excellent. And move everyone into the Orsund over here. And then we can group up and take care of the Swedish fleet, actually. Which is mostly transports. Oh! Oh, they're running away. Hold on. Don't run away. No, no, I want to give you a big hug. You fleet of mostly transports. I mean, we don't have a terrible numbers advantage here, but... They got a couple of heavies, too. Uh, and they do have some galleys. I don't know, though. Yeah, they're, a lot of their stuff is really low in hit points because they're transports. Or is that me? That's my side. I'm not used to being the attacker. Just dock. Go away. Alright, that could have been a lot better. Not having a general, or an admiral rather, not having an army fleet together. Yeah, that was a little less than ideal. Alright, we're going to go and put a cut in here. I, I still feel very confident overall. Uh, we do have to be a little bit careful. There's a decent number of people on the mainland here, but Muscovy is getting some work done, which is nice. And yeah, the, the ultimate goal is if we could snag some territory from Scotland, that would be brilliant. We have the money, and actually now we have a little bit of force limit. I could go and build a fleet that can land some troops on, on Scotland. And literally ignore most of everything else that's happening here. Well, we have to stabilize in some fashion. So we have to do that first. Let's move uh, troops down. I want to finish the Siege of Berlin here. It would be really annoying. Well, I guess we have a, a fort here, so I don't think they can really reach me that easily. But losing battles is really bad, because that's what most of our war score comes from. <laughs> yeah, um, I think I'm going to build 10 transports. Yeah, yeah take me over my force limit. That's okay. That's what money is for. Money is there to be spent. We're going to try to land a force in Scotland. How many ground troops does Scotland have? Only 13,000. Lots of manpower, but only 13,000 troops. And we could start off by just landing on one of these islands. And that would be pretty good. So we're going to take some extra attrition here. Okay, more kerfuffling over here with some religious people. Luckily, Brunswick is here to sweep that up. Oh, with them holding that, we need nine ships to properly blockade that area. But that, that will change once we've taken that territory, so that's okay. Move out of here. Decent fleet. A little bit of extra blockade is nice. Oh, man. That Siege of Berlin taking way longer than it should. And certainly, we are draining some more manpower. Yeah, I was hoping to take out this little stack before they fully reinforce. And this is only farmland, so we can counterattack there pretty well. So once the, once this siege finishes, certainly we'll do that. We can just sit in the woods for now. And actually... Saxony here might be going after the Teutonic Order. No, they're doing something else. Hopefully they don't die. I'm going to park myself here and wait to see if we get any extra people. And I guess I'm going to have to go and put a cut in at this point. Yeah, I don't want to jump in with this number. But our comp is relatively good. A little heavy on the cannons for this phase of the game. Not going to lie about that. Um, but it's not terrible. We are we are a little over a force limit, but not too bad. 
Build an extra couple of uh, infantry up here and hope to see if someone attaches to us. And if they do, then we can pounce on the Teutonic Order over here. Um, so, Brandenburg cannot spawn any troops, which is great. We have to go and recapture Stott over here, which is a little bit annoying, but not that bad. We're building the transports. And yeah, if we can happen... Oh, there's a Swedish fleet up here. If we can uh, take some ter territory from Scotland. They only have, I think, one fort. Yes, they do. Um, so we may have to take the fort to get enough uh, war score against them individually. But as a bonus, since there's no forts in this area, if I just take the Western Isles... Oh, man, that is not much development. But it does let us reach somewhere. Oh! I didn't realize that... Um, so Norway occupies... Norway occupies Denmark. And Denmark occupies Norway. Actually, how's that war going? And more importantly... Um, Denmark has the Norwegian capital of Reykjavik, of course. <laughs> of course! Um, and that's the war goal in that war. It would be really nice... I mean, I guess as long as Denmark wins, then this is not going to be independent, which means I can start asking for that in a peace deal. So we may not need a chunk of Scotland. We might be in a, in a good position to declare war on Denmark and um, take Iceland or something like that. I would be quite happy about that. In fact, um, what I would probably do is release Iceland, because it would be cool to have that. I mean, I, I don't know if they extend our trade range. I might hold it for a while, and then eventually just release it and just forget about it, because it's probably not worth us having provinces here. Oh, but can it just be a territory? Right! I can just leave all this shit as territories. It's not going to be worth much at 75% autonomy, but it's not going to be worth much in any case. Alright, cool. Uh, is that a whale? I think that's a whale right over there. Oh, you can still barely see it under. Cool. I didn't realize that. Look at that. Alright, we're going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.